when I, whenever we, um, I'm talking to students, um, we found that, they, that there's groups of students that have been told again and again and again, and I think this is systemic, this just is in our building, that change takes time. And uh, meeting with the NAACP um, and our local leaders, uh, they talked about the fact that saying that change takes time can no longer be the message. We're all aware that change takes time. We're all aware that everybody's working towards a change. But um, we want to start using the phrase that our actions are the conversation. So we need to start showing these students that there is something for them, there's a place for them, that we hear them and that we are going to take action for what it is that they're concerned about. So I think that's the, the, the greatest benefit of our bridge program is that there's a place to take those concerns that feel safe. And then when there's something going on that they're, you know, that they may not be comfortable, as I said, saying, telling the assistant principal or telling the building principal or telling any of our teachers. Um, because it may be something that they just don't understand just yet. Like we talked about earlier, they don't understand why they feel this way. So talking about some, uh, talking with somebody that they trust that's gone through similar situations can enable them to come up with kind of a roadmap or come up with a plan towards change that we can then implement, which becomes that my action, which becomes the actions that become the new conversation, not this idea of things taking time. They can actually see that we're doing something um, that's important. Then. But we want to be able to take those actions if they didn't have that safe place for the conversation. 